Hey everybody, Scott Sprints for DocSports.com. Our update for Saturday, March 23rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Start by clicking on the link below the video. Uh, we ended up last night with a couple of wins late. Virginia Tech here on this report. Uh, Central Florida uh, beat it up on, on their opponent VCU rather handily, almost start to finish in that one. So a nice way to finish up. We started slowly. We had Virginia and Kansas State early. Virginia, of course, up 21. They had the sluggish first half. They go up 71-50 with two and a half minutes to go in anywhere from 21 and a half up to about 22 and a half. And they didn't score again. They did. They went the final two and a half minutes without scoring a point and uh, didn't get the cover. But, uh, again, came back late last night, finished up strong, always good heading into the next day's card, winning again here with Virginia Tech, winning with the premium pick on Central Florida. Overall, our three-play trifectas, as we call them in the big dance, three sides, are now 18, 11, and 1 with our last 30. We've got three plays going on Saturday as we advance to the next round. And uh, of the three plays, we have a six-unit play. So there's a big top-level play going on in this three-play card for Saturday. Three sides in all from Saturday's Big Dance action included a big six-unit play leading the way. Now, as far as the NBA, I went 0-1 last night. We're 9-2 with our last 11. We're up about $2,400 for $100 per unit better. So that's a decent amount of games on Saturday. But, man, I looked through the games as we always do. I mean, looked over them a few times. Not only are my power ratings lined up with where the lines are uh, for Saturday's games, but I just didn't find any juicy nuggets. So we'll take a 9-2 and two NBA run into Sunday. Going to make a, a rare NBA pass on Saturday. We'll stick to the three-play trifecta in college basketball. If we sweep, we go to 21-11-1 with those plays in the big dance going back a few years now in big dance play. Back in action in the NHL. We passed last night. There were just a couple of the games. We go for our third straight win in the NHL. Uh, 86 and 67 is the current run overall going back to last year. And we do have what we call a shocker, a very undervalued side that we like on Saturday. And it's available right, or excuse me, not right now, but available on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. The three-play trifecta in college basketball also available Saturday morning. And wanted to mention that we're in UFC action. We're 15 and 8 since we've been at DocSports.com with our fight plays up over $3,500 for $100 per unit better. It's had a real nice run, over 60, about 65% uh, winning fights. And uh, we do have one. It's a prop going on. We have a certain uh, fighter to win by KO or TKO. And uh, he's plus money to do so on Saturday night. Just one fight on the card. But, again, it's a nice priced uh, win if we do get that victory by KO or TKO. And it comes with the write-up, the analysis, the whole shebang. So that'll be available Saturday morning. Also, UFC, we look to extend our fight run since we've been at Docs Sports to 16 and 8, 67%. And uh, this would put us up over $4,000 for $100 per unit better. So check that out. UFC, the three-play trifecta card in Saturday's college basketball big dance action. And also the NHL, all available Saturday morning, DocSports.com. As far as NASCAR is concerned, as we mentioned on yesterday's video, it'll be late Saturday night, like around midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on Saturday when we have Sunday's NASCAR picks posted. We're, we're 2-0 thus far. We brought them to DocSports.com a couple of weeks ago in Phoenix. We won there. We won again last week in Fontana. We look to make it three wins, three checkered flags in three races since we brought these two win picks to DocSports.com. So anyway, the NASCAR will be available about midnight Eastern, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Pacific time. Let's get to the free pick for today. Oh, you know what? Before the free pick, I wanted to mention uh, what's going on as far as the public betting is concerned with Saturday's card. Uh, just picking some of the outliers, so to speak, in these games. Uh, we do note that 70% uh, of the public being reported right now on Murray State plus the points over Florida State. Uh, they got the one-star player talking about Murray State. We'll see if everybody else on the team can step up like they did against Marquette in the opening round. The line of this game down a little bit. Florida State laying four and a half. Again, about 70% of the public action on Murray State. 80%, four out of five tickets reportedly on LSU minus the points over Maryland. That's basically LSU two, 
to a two and a half point favorite. Hey, Maryland did a nice job getting past a good Belmont team. LSU, if you had them, I didn't have the game against Yale, uh, but if you had LSU, you were a hard, hard luck loser uh, spread wise because they did everything right, everything right, right down the stretch to the final buzzer. Uh, but Yale hit a handful of threes in the final minute to get the cover. But right now, LSU, again, about 80% of the public action. They're laying two, two and a half over Maryland. Uh, about 62% of the public action is on Kentucky over Wofford. Now, Kentucky laying five, five and a half in that one. And again, about 62% of the public action is on the Kentucky Wildcats. A bit of a sharpie here. First of all, the Auburn-Kansas game, as far as the public is concerned, it's basically 50-50 split down the middle. Sharp action, though, on the Auburn Tigers. They are a good two, two-and-a-half point favorite over Kansas. They open as low as one. Uh, but again, sharp money coming in on the Auburn Tigers. And about 70% of the public action on Gonzaga, laying 13-and-a-half to 14 over the Baylor Bears, about 70% on the Zags. And, boy, they were about as impressive as anybody in their opening round wins. So there's just some of the uh, the games that kind of had a difference of away from 50-50, either in public betting or by the Sharps for Saturday's uh, next round of action in the big dance. Our free pick, let's get to that in opinion today. Uh, we are going to back uh, the uh, Purdue Boilermakers, excuse me, Purdue Boilermakers over Villanova. And one thing that we like about Purdue here is we think they can get out and guard Villanova to deny the three-pointer. And you know Villanova goes as the tray goes. Uh, they shoot over 50% of all their shots. I've seen upwards of sometimes 55, 56% of all their shots taken from behind the three-point line. And if they're falling, they got a great shot to beat just about anybody. If they are not falling, they got a great shot to lose just about everybody. Listen, they lost a mess, I mean a big-time group of talented players from last year's team, yet Jay Wright was able to mold this team to go on and win the Big East, come from behind in the standings, you know, out-distancing out Marquette towards the end of the season. And I like Jay Wright. He's probably my favorite college basketball coach in the big dance. But the bottom line is I just think they're – Going to be outmanned here against Purdue. Purdue can get a little bit of, uh, get, excuse me, get a little bit physical with Villanova uh, and, and get in their face at times out, uh, on that deep perimeter. And I think that's going to be the difference here. So an opinion on Saturday's card on the Purdue Boilermakers minus the points over Villanova. And that number is low as three and a half right now as we speak. A lot of fours out there a little bit earlier. Uh, but again, Purdue will be our free opinion. Don't forget about Saturday. We've got the NHL. We've got the UFC. Uh, in college basketball, three sides, three play trifecta. We look to go to 21, 11, and 1 over the past several big dance cards with our trifectas all available Saturday morning. Go grab it. Don't miss out on a single winner on Saturday. All right, that's going to do it for us for Saturday's uh, report. Um, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll be right back here Sunday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time. We'll have some updates not only for Sunday's college basketball and NBA, but also tell you what's going on with NASCAR on Sunday's report. All right, best of luck. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday morning.